So how does a car designer start to dream up a new project? And how do they balance up the need to be fresh and different, along with keeping the look and feel of the car makes history? We asked one of Britain's most talented designers, Jaguar's Ian Callum. Well, heritage is something that, it depends how people look at it, it depends how the designers look at it, it depends how outsiders look at it. If the outsider's opinions are very strong, including your own management, it can be a real incumbent, and you can't really work with it all the time. But what you've got to do is you've got to take that heritage. As a designer, you have to take that heritage and work with it in a positive way. Ian's work with Jaguar has shown him the importance of recognising the company's distinguished past, but not being beholden to it. In other words, what you, do, you, what you have to do is try and find the values of that heritage, the positive values of the heritage, and work with the values of them. And that's not to say that you take a grill shape or a headlamp shape or the shape of a car, which is a mistake a lot of people do. And that's, that's a rather two-dimensional view, and that's a view a lot of people take even within the company, and that's when it becomes incumbent. But if you take a positive view and look at the values of the heritage and work with the values and explain these values to the people you're selling it to, you can make it work. When Ian Callum joined Jaguar, he had to make a decision. When I went into Jaguar, I, wanted to I, had, I had one of two choices. I can move Jaguar design seamlessly into the next generation from where it had been before, which I fully respect and appreciate. Or I could decide it has to come from me and what I believe to be correct for Jaguar. Now if I can just take two steps back, what I believe to be correct for Jaguar is something I grew up with in the 60s. And this, go back, this goes back to my reference again, you know, as I growing up as a teenager in the 60s and loving E-types and swooning over them through garage windows and all that sort of little boy stuff. Have you heard the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words? Well, when Ian Callum joined Jaguar as head of design, he was asked to put together an extended report on his views on the design future of the mark. But instead of relying on mere words to make his point, he created this concept car, the R Coupe. Going into Jaguar, you have to make a statement. You have to write out your manifesto. You have to say, this is what I want to do for the future. This is in the next 10 years. How do you do it as an artist or designer? You don't write it out and you know, great reams of writing. Although, I'm sure there's some people in Ford and Jaguar who'd love to see great reams of writing and all that stuff, but I can't do that, you know. Um, so we produce a concept car that says, this is the basis of how I want to work in the future. And really we did that car not so much to impress the public, although it's nice to get public support, it's to impress my own management. This is the way we want to move forward. And what I wanted to show here is this is a modern car that picks up the values that I understand of Jaguar, my values of Jaguar, and take them into the future. And I want you to accept it. And once you accept it, then the door is open for me to move forward. And that was the main motivation behind the car.